So now let's look at how we can import contacts that we already have into our new MailChimp account. So to do that, we go to audience here on the left side. And here we can already see that the button add your contact. So we could simply click on add your contacts. And then we get two options how we can import our contacts here on MailChimp. The first one being to copy and paste it from a spreadsheet. And the second one being to upload a CSV file or a text file. Um, I would recommend to use this first option because it's quicker and pretty much all email marketing providers um, allow you to export your email list in a CSV file. So I'm gonna choose this option here as well. And then you can click on browse and choose that file that you have exported uh, or and downloaded from your other email provider. So once it's uploaded, we can click on continue to organize. And then you wanna make sure that they are on the status subscribed. Otherwise they will have to resubscribe to your list, which is not something you want to bother your email list with because they have already given you permission to have them on your email list and permission to send them emails. So make sure the status is unsubscribed and then click on continue to tag. Here you can give a tag to your email list. So for example, if we have imported our email list of our blog readers, we can say something like blog readers to make sure we actually know where those uh, emails come from and what those people are interested in. So make sure you, you give them a suitable tag and then we can click on continue to match. And then you wanna make sure that MailChimp actually assigns the columns correctly. So email address, make sure these are actually email addresses. These are the first names, these are the last names. And you can also sc uh, scroll here to the right and make sure everything is correct. So um, sometimes if you uh, import an email list from another provider, you're gonna see maybe the email address here. So you need to untick this and maybe change this to, okay, this is the actual email address and not the phone number. So make sure everything is correct right here. And once that's done, you can click on finalize import. Then again, confirm by clicking on complete import. And there we go. We can now click on view imported contacts and we can see that we have now these three contacts here on our audience list.